Hello everyone, welcome to another Stata tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to implement difference in differences estimation using Stata. The data set I have here shows the price and other characteristics of houses in the town of North Andover, Massachusetts in two different years, 1978 and 1981. What's interesting about this data set is that between those two years, a garbage incinerator was built in the town. This data set has a variable called near ink for near incinerator that just indicates whether that lot is within a three mile radius of the incinerator, or in the case of 1978, the future site of the incinerator. I also have a dummy variable here called Y81 that just indicates whether or not we are in 1981. So for all the 1978 observations, we have a zero. And for all the 1981 observations, of course, we have a one. The variable year 81 near incinerator is an interaction term between the two. Here, we only have a one if the observation is both in 1981 and near the incinerator. That is to say that there actually was an incinerator near that lot. There's a zero everywhere else. The idea behind difference in differences estimation is that it allows us to control for a lot of different factors that might otherwise cause endogeneity. For example, suppose that we just looked at houses within the three mile radius of the incinerator and compared them before and after the incinerator was built. The problem with this technique is that there might be other factors that are trending between the two years that would account for the change in the housing prices that were not because of the incinerator. The other thing we could try is to just look at 1981 and compare the house prices near and not near the incinerator. The problem with this is that the neighborhoods that were closer to the incinerator versus the neighborhoods that were farther from the incinerator could have all kinds of other differences as well. We would have no way of knowing whether those differences are due to the incinerator or not. By including both years and both areas, we're able to isolate the effect of the incinerator in our regression. To run the difference in differences regression, we'll have our dependent variable, which is price. We're going to regress that on the year dummy variable. This will tell us, are we in 1981 or not? This variable's inclusion in the equation will take care of that time trend problem. If the prices of houses have been going up over time or down over time, this will take care of that. In general, your difference in differences regression will always have this before and after variable. Next, we'll include our near incinerator dummy. In general, this is going to take care of our inherent differences between our treatment and control group. Finally, we will include our interaction term. This is going to give us our actual estimated treatment effect. Let's run the regression. Here we see that our y81 variable has a positive coefficient. This means that the house prices were trending up over time. Our near incinerator estimate is negative, which means that the, the areas closer to the incinerator, regardless of the incinerator, had lower house values. And then finally, our interaction term here gives us a large negative coefficient suggesting that the incinerator by itself actually also decreased the housing prices. The reason that we call this the difference in differences estimator is that essentially what we're doing is taking the average change in prices in the control group from 78 to 81, and then we're taking the average change in prices in the treatment group, that is the near incinerator group from 1978 to 1981, and then we're taking the difference in those differences. To show this, we can use the collapse command. Now, as with any time that we use the collapse command, it's very important to understand that as soon as we collapse, we have irreparably changed our data set. So if you are going to save your data set after you collapse, make sure you pick a new name so you don't overwrite your original one. 
we're going to collapse using the mean of price. And we're going to do this by Y81 and near incinerator. This will give us four total categories. We'll have 0 or 1 for year 81 and 0 or 1 for near incinerator, and there is going to be four combinations of that. Let's take a look at the data browser now that I've run this command. We can see that we have four data points. 1978, not near. 1978, near. 1981, not near. And 1981, near. And we've got a different average price for each of those four groups. Just to make this easier, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste all these guys into Excel. First, I'm going to calculate the average change in prices from 1978 to 1981 for our control group. So I'm going to go to year 81 for not near, take this number, and then subtract the 1978 counterpart then I'm going to go ahead and do that also for the treatment group, our near incinerator group. Now, to get the difference in differences estimator, I'll simply take the difference in these two, starting with the treatment group and subtracting the control group average. What we get here is negative 21,131. We go back to Stata, we can see that that is exactly the number that we got out of the regression. And that is it. That is how you do difference in differences estimation in Stata. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.